Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angel. I was just thinking about when I had first left the club and how if I didn't choose God, I would have been consumed by darkness. I would have never became this woman. And all the choices and the decisions that I made that led up to even me getting to this point where I'm able to just be myself, be me. And looking back it's just like what made me want to you know dance for money you know like what if that's the lowest form of things in like the biblical sense of the bible then like how I had to have felt to even be vulnerable enough to do that and it's just been a lot of people you know my whole life I was raped tortured and molested and everything else and when I was able to actually understand what happened to me I never healed you know so it was easy for me to do that because people have been doing that to me my whole life, you know? But it was like, I had control of what people did to me. I had control of how people perceived me, you know? Like, I believed that was the highest form of me at one point in my life. I believe that what people thought about me and just I believed the wrong thing and it was just a very consuming spirit a very draining toxic spirit that has been on me my whole life and the moment I had control of that that feeling that I could change myself you know no longer be held to my past and the things that I've done That was a spirit, a spirit that has been on my family their whole lives, I believe, because the power, the power and just putting on those heels and selling yourself to the highest bidder in a sense, like whoever got the most money can have me. and. It was like, I couldn't leave that place because I, the feelings. I couldn't shake the feeling of if I didn't do this, I would never have enough to provide for my children in, in a way that my mother was never able to provide for me. Like I had this mindset where it was like, no other job was equivalent to that job because that was my bread and butter. As long as I, when I put on those heels, I was no longer Angel. I was Ebony. I was Kiara. I was a lot of different women. And they had better stories than mine. And they had visions. They, like, they had visions. You know, like I used to tell people, I was in college, just a whole bunch of lies. And now I have to sit and break down all those lies so I can get down to the truth of me, who I am and how I do this, how I forgive myself for not loving me and doing all the things I've done in life. And I get to do that now as a woman, so it's completely different than prior to doing this. So it's definitely a healing journey. But I know now, I once said that dancing saved my life. And uh, maybe a version of me, it saved, you know, because I had everything I wanted. 
for the first time in my life. Like, there was nothing I couldn't buy. I had friends. Like, when I started the thing, I had friends. Real loyal friends. And we all changed. In the end, we all changed. And now I know, like, you know, I had a calling on me. So when I left, I didn't leave under the best circumstances, he would say. So I hurt a lot of people. I've done a lot of things that I now have to atone for as a woman and not let it consume me because I know now I did everything I had to do to survive. And now I just have to live, live in the moment, live in whatever this is that's happening inside me because this thing that's happening inside of me is completely different. And I am really forgiving myself for things that I did when I was 21 years old to people I hung around with when I was 21 years old. And it was just eye opening that I had that much love around me, but I couldn't be me. I wouldn't be the realest version of me if they would have seen me and how I changed. Like they're different than me. Like, I completely went dark, went to drugs, went to the darkest version of me, you know? And I was only able to do that by hurting everyone around me in that point in time. And I'm sorry. I did not know. I didn't know that I didn't know how to forgive. Like I never let anything go. I'm talking to myself, man, and this is early. <sighs> I'm really forgiving myself now. And it's hard and easy at the same time because I wanna cry, but God's got my back. So it's just like, all I have to do now is heal and really Forgive myself for all the shitty shit I did. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with sitting in me for however long it takes and build myself up so I can be the best version of me when he really calls me to do this thing. And I don't have all these beliefs about myself that would stop me from becoming the best version of me. And baby steps one day at a time one step at a time one obstacle at a time and I'm living in that now a stronger version of me though so it's completely different I have a different mindset I have a different heart I know there's things I'm supposed to do in this world and I wish you guys knew how hard it was for me to even make this video like I made four of them and I just couldn't get the words out and there's just a lot of things I need to atone for a lot of things I need to forgive myself for and let go of because I didn't realize that people still had holds on me in some way, consuming me to a person that I don't want to be anymore. And that's what I'm doing today. Just atoning, freeing myself, saying their names over and over again until they no longer have any hold on me. A moment of silence and we're starting now. Bye guys, until my next video.